Hello, GPU here. Navi 23, RX 6600, Hynix. Uh, my opinion, the best memory of these things. Uh, you can get Samsung ones, you can get Micron ones. I don't think either of those are quite as good. Uh, anyway, Navi 23, desktop. These are little baby dies. They've got eight gigs of RAM. They have 128 bit bus and they absolutely slay at pretty much everything. Sorry, I don't know why this is on the screen here. It's picking up the wrong window, um, but you can see the hash rate sheet here. I think the only thing we tested successfully that it wasn't good at was Kyla coin with a 5.68 efficiency. 10 is kind of the bare minimum for this. Uh, Dynex, right now with AMD, as you guys know, after the SRB miner fake hash rate saga has not been great. So we do have BZ Miner working on it. We have Wild Rig working on it, and we have the Deep Miner hopefully coming at some point as well. But um, I was unable to get that to launch the night we tested this. I will come back to it probably when I'm testing the XT. But these cards do about 2.2 kilohash. Last time I was able to test it at about 45 watts. Just so you know, they're really good at Dynex, but no Dynex miners are working correctly right now. Flux, the hash rate's not like great, great. We're getting 22 or 23 souls, but we're getting that at 38 and 44 watts for an efficiency of 0.578, which is ludicrously good. Um, 0.5 is good on Flux, so that's just obscenely good. Um, Nexa, honestly, I'm going to give that kind of middle of the road. 0.55 is where I'm really saying good, and this is 0.52. And the hash rate's pretty low as well, so 20.93, really not that great. Uh, as far as Flux is concerned, like I said, the hash rate's a little low, but this is a really, really small card. So typically speaking, when I'm looking at these, I'm looking at does two of these, including overhead, beat out a 3070? And in a lot of cases, the answer is yes. Uh, Kylie Coin, again, really, really quite bad uh, for efficiency. Don't know how the actual numbers look there. Alephium, honestly, the hash rate's pretty good. I'm going to give that like a light green, and I'm pretty sure the efficiency is quite good too. Let's take a look down here. Where are we, Alephium? 17, yeah, so we're at 20 efficiency. Very, very good at Alephium. Uh, not super surprising. Again, the memory bus is only 128 bits on this. GDDR6, but the core, although it's small, it still packs quite a bit of a punch as far as compute is concerned. Ironfish, I don't have as good a handle on the hash rates, but the efficiency is, of course, again, quite good because we're talking Blake 3 here. Uh, Radiant, hash rate's a little on the low side. Uh, it's very similar to what you would get out of like a 1660 Ti, but the efficiency is really good up at 10. So looking really, really nice there. Carlson, pretty good. Uh, the hash rate... <clears throat> is a little lower than I would like to see. This is only about 20% higher hash rate than like a P106, but the efficiency is off the charts good. Uh, I would consider eight to be quite good, and this is 13. So again, fantastic. Ergo, uh, quite good on efficiency. We're looking at 1.14 mega hash per watt. Uh, one, in my opinion, is considered good. And honestly, for the memory bus, 56 mega hash is quite good as well. Uh, the algorithm AutoLycos 2 addresses memory IOPS a little bit differently, so I had to push quite a bit more power to the card than I was anticipating, uh, ending up in potentially not quite as good efficiency as I've seen in the past on some other ones. This is not a golden sample card I'm picking here. This is the actual card I used, and it's just fine, but it, it's not my best 6600 by any stretch. So the numbers you see here, if there's a hash right by it, and your card is Hynix, it's very, very likely that it will work. Uh, ETC hash, I'm gonna say, we'll give it, we'll give it a light brownish, yellowish for hash rate, 29 mega hash. It's about what we expect from 128 bit bus, but it is still low. I would like to see 31, you know, on a really, really healthy one potentially, but it's probably not gonna happen. But the efficiency, 0.617. This is absurdly good. 0.4 is fine, 0.5 is stellar, 0.6 is amazing, so over 0.6 is just really, really, really fantastic. Pigeon, wouldn't mine at all. Uh, I did try a new miner and Metro Mike's pool still, but I couldn't get it to go. Uh, and then ProgPow, this thing, arguably the most um, impressive showing of the entire night, but it, it did 0.2608. Uh, um, if you guys have been watching the overclocking streams for a while, you know that 0.2 uh, mega hash per watt is where I draw the line on a very good card. That's where a really well-tuned RX 5700 XT will land. Um, but 
0.21 or 0.22 is like, oh my god, that's amazing. That's like a crappy RDNA2. But these, certain RDNA2s, man, they just absolutely lay down the clappers on this algorithm. And honestly, the hash rate's pretty good too. It's doing almost 15 mega hash at 57 watts. And that is PMD lie detector hardware wattage. It's not the 45 watt BS software number that you'll see anywhere else. That's actual wattage. And yeah, the Miner developers over at Team Red Miner are absolute magicians. I don't understand it, but this card is so far even better than a CMP 170HX for efficiency. Two of these pretty much takes on a CMP 170HX in performance and efficiency for Kapow on the most efficient settings that they have. And you can still easily find these for $170 a piece, usually less. So the 6600 absolutely is the clappers. I really, really love this card. And I will continue rounding out the RDNA2 test suite. However, they take a long time to tune because of how many voltages and clocks you have to work with. So bear with me. It may take a while for me to get through these and I may not live stream every single piece of it, but you'll always have the recap video at the end. So stay tuned for those. Uh, next week, I believe we'll be on the 4070 Ti Super just because I ended up with one. And that's actually what you can see on the corner of the screen down there for tonight's stream. <laughs> Real time for me. But 6600 XT is coming right after that. Then we're moving on to 6700 XT, 6800 XL, 6800 XT, 6900 XT, and maybe 6950 if you guys are really lucky. But we'll see on that one since it's not a very popular card. Anyway, that is the RX 6600 non-XT Hynix Asus Dual. Those are the hash rates as of January 2024, minus down X. Yeah, thanks for watching.